Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Planet Base. Now, it's been... With the freaking asteroids, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've been able to get back on here, but I have been playing around with this base a little bit. As you can see, we got a, a couple more people. Got some more TV screens in there, very nice. Alright, uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, oh, good, there we go. Awesome, being, uh, she's going ahead and she's, uh, she's giving him, giving her metal. Uh, f it. I'm tired, people. I am exhausted. So this is actually rather peaceful. What key was it again? Was it the plus key? Yes. Alright, four times speed. There we go. What the? It hit the oxygen generator. Oh, shit. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, with these freaking asteroids. <laughs> I don't like it. No, I don't. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. There's a nice wide open area right here. I'm gonna go ahead and place like a line of wind turbines here, then batteries on this side right here. And then if I have room, another line of uh, wind turbines. And then maybe over here, put some solar panels, or whatever the case may be. Strategically, maybe I can put a laser right here, maybe a laser over there. I have no idea what we're going to put right here. Trading. Uh, maybe we shouldn't put anything right there. <laughs> uh, you f Okay, so anyway. I had to ditch a medical plant so I can get some more starches going. Because... Our bioplastics are way, 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 way down. Our primary concern is power, right? So we need to go ahead and build this, or at least get started building this massive power station before we even attempt to do anything else that we just talked about. Bump that up. I use the mouse wheel to bump it up. Try to get it out there as far as I can. And line it up pretty good. There we go. Click, click. Okay. But we don't have any real battery power to support it, so let's go ahead and fix that. Bump this up all the way. Now remember, even though I'm building up my power, it takes spare parts to be able to keep these things up and running, so... You know, I've only got five spare parts now. I have to keep an eye on this and start producing more spare parts. I have to get this just right. Maybe I need to bring them both out, I don't know can't get a straight line if I don't do something. It's being a real dick about it. Alright, problem solved. Oh, well, what do we got? You got spare parts? Yes, you do. 67? Alright. I can... That work. Alright. And it's not too much, is it? No, 5 and 2. They should be able to make that trade pretty quick. The multi-domes? They make great uh, connections between larger areas or larger settlement areas great connections because you could put a you could put a water fountain in between you could put like little flowers or whatever in between little plants and stuff so that way colonists can have a drink of water or can look at a look at something nice on the way over go ahead demolish that this too I'm gonna start moving all our stuff over there. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and actually order some more engineers. So we can go ahead and start making some spare parts. Colonists and engineers. Now, I was told that you don't have to go 100%. You can just make sure that the percentage is higher than anybody else. Last time I did that though, I had engineers and I had biologists, right? So I just wanted engineers. So I went ahead and made it like... 75% engineers and it was 25% biologists. So what happened was I got I got two engineers and one biologist. I was like, no, I don't need another biologist. Damn it. So from then on, I'm just going to stick with 100% of whoever I need. Hey, who did we get? Uh, we got three engineers. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, that, that works. So as of right now, we're running out of food. So let's go ahead and try to build some food. Someplace close. We got our power grid up and running, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take these offline. You know what, let me go ahead and just get rid of this, because uh, we're going to need some spares immediately. Three giant 
Three giant batteries should be pretty good. Let's get some food going here. And some starches. Some potatoes. Putting our spares in there. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the four tables. And this, this might be the dumbest thing in the world to do, but there's been too many people walking around thirsty. So, here we go. Damn it, it's so hard to, it's so hard to line these suckers up. That kind of works. Solar flare imminent. Oh, 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 I don't have, oh. No, you don't. <laughs> oh crap, there's somebody outside. Oh, how'd you, no, I turned it off. I turned it off. Oh, oh crap, this is not good. Oh, people are gonna die. Oh, he is so fried. Oh, he is so fried. Carrying, I don't want you to carry anything, go away. You happy moron, get back in there. Oh no, go back inside. Go back inside. Just, just go back inside. Thank you. No, what are you doing? Oh, these people are so dead. Oh, they're gonna turn into ghouls. They're gonna turn into ghouls. Oh, they're so fu- Oh, 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 get in, get in, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, people, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, you two. Don't you dare go outside, I will f*** you up. Good, 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 good. Damn it, this guy is so dead. This guy is so dead. Alright, looks like solar flare is over with. This guy is so toast. Oh, he is so toast. They can hardly hear him on the intercom. He's like... <laughs> he's like, what's wrong? Oh, he's been... He's melted by radiation. I'm gonna go ahead and put two more beds in here. We definitely need to get a command center up and running because that was... Well, who died? What? Who died? What the... See, I hate that. It, it it pops up and it disappears, and you don't know why or where. Who died? Who did we lose? Oh, I hate that. Because it doesn't tell you anything. It just says, oh, hey, they died, and disappears. You're like, who? Where? What? When? Has died due to radiation. How many people do we lose? Alright, so we're good on bio biologists. Engineers are good, but we're low on workers. One medic. So basically what we did, we, we lost three workers. Is what I'm guessing. We lost three, three workers. Maybe an engineer. I can't tell because it doesn't show me that information. It's very vague when it comes to actually giving you useful information to go off of, but it's alright. We need workers. Workers are the backbone of any colony. Having four workers is okay, but having a lot of workers allows me to not only have the mines fully manned, but also producing and processing plants and all sorts of good stuff. All right, we need a cabin. Cabin. This will help morale go through the roof. There we go, that's beautiful. I like that. Water's looking a little high for me. If it goes over, if it goes over the slash sign right here, that means it has the potential to go nuts if something was to happen. Gotta do this just right, because if I put it too close, like right here, it might not allow me to put a uh, structure there. So I've got to be careful. Are you serious? See, this kind of thing could actually make me rage quit. That kind of bullcrap right there, that kind of, that kind of flawed game mechanic could really make me rage quit. And with another one, we have room and board for 32 people to have their own beds. We can go ahead and get rid of this when it's done. And then we're going to put a canteen place for them to eat and drink somewhere close by. Uh, storage, sick bay, lab, uh, buh, 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 food. There we go. And we're gonna make it big. Everything from this point on out, except for like hallways and runways and whatever, is gonna be pumped up to the max because we're building our base now. Remember, because it's closer doesn't mean it's better. Spread it out. 
Spread it. Spread eagle. Spread it out. Get it all spread out. Maybe this could be all compacted because I'm going to turn this into our... Uh, I'm going to turn this whole area into our mining area. I'm going to put more mines. A crap load of production going on over here. It's going to be connected to our power. It's going to be all kinds of power in there. And then down here is going to be the living area. <sighs> I think next thing I should really start looking at is actually getting some... Uh, Guns up and running. That's good. I like it. I like this. I like this idea that I'm cooking up in my head right now. I like it. We got the first one up and running. Okay, I need to do this just right. Was it shift, right? If I hold down shift and click it, there we go. Come on, give me eight. Yes. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Yeah, you want to you wanna make sure you get what you've put down first built. Then have it kind of look at its effects on the entire colony as a whole. And if everything pans out, if everything equals out and everything's alright, then build another section. So you have to build in chunks. Seven and eight. Awesome. We've run out of spares, ah! All available engineers, please report to the factory immediately. Thank you. Get this built up and running and ready to go. Really? Dude? And then start getting some lasers up, or up and operational. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Very poor. They're not working on this or what? See, I'm too afraid to delete the whole thing because I don't know if it's going to give me the beds back with everything else. I'm, I'm not sure. So, here we go. Awesome. And we'll probably go into this canteen and actually delete it. But in order to do that, we're going to have to connect this with something else. There we go. Connect to there. Connect to there. Connect to there. Very good. I think we're almost done. Need two on this one. Need one on that one. Steel. Okay, good. This is all built. This is all built. That's what I'm talking about. Work it, baby. Work it. Right. So there's going to be a hallway right in the middle here. So we can't really build anything but televisions right there. Alright, let's do this. Oh, well, we can do this, though. Sweet. This is going to be the happiest spot of the whole place. As soon as somebody walks in there, they're just going to big giant smiles. It's going to be great. And this, I am so sorry. Bye-bye. Holy crap. Well, hey, at least it doesn't delete the food. That's awesome. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Somebody better grab something. Somebody better grab something. And screw it. It's gone. Boom. Beautiful. We got some extra stuff. Oh, it's looking so good. Oh, check that out. It is beautiful. I love it. Oh, that's going to be a beautiful place to eat. Got giant screen TVs. Plenty of room. Lots of, lots of plants. Lots of places to go eat. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. We're at a good spot. We got plenty of room for expansion. Expansion. Blah, blah, blah. I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. Got plenty of power. Spares are going up. We got plenty of food. We're good on food. Yeah, you suck. Yeah, I see a beautiful future ahead of us. As long as the freaking asteroids from hell don't destroy us first. <sighs> you, you right there. You, I'm talking about you, you little dick. Ladies and gentlemen, I am tired and it is late. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for your contributions on Patreon and your support. It, it, it means a lot to me. It really does. I'm going to start going on overdrive with these videos because not only do I love doing them, but at the same time, I want to produce more content on other video games as well as KSP. This weekend, I'm going to work on some KSP stuff. 
uh, maybe maybe Solar Nations because of the fact that it's 105 now. So I'm pretty sure Solar Nations is screwed up again, and hopefully I don't have to redo it, but we'll see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for your support. I am Veos Human, signing off, and have a good night.